was an impressive win. A lot of a lot of fireworks there in the first half as you guys you know, got the running clock on the mercy mm -hmm. Just talk about the team's performance. Um, I think we played really well. Um, I think the guys were locked in and focused. Um, you know, even through the, the altercation in the first half and losing two guys and having to finish with five, we were so locked in that that didn't take us out of it. Uh, we've been playing with five, six, uh, and now we have seven uh, players all year. Um, and a lot of those guys have been the ones that had been playing, so it wasn't really a new situation to them. Uh, we had to change up our schemes a little bit to try to manage the foul trouble a little bit better. Um, but, you know, the guys were just hungry. Uh, it's a rivalry game. Uh, you know, a lot's at stake. Uh, it's a brand new year. We're not living on the past. Uh, but at the same time, we feel like, you know, we've lost a couple games that had we been full strength wouldn't have happened. So uh, we wanted to continue to run the table in our league. So uh, this was the first step to that, and uh, I was proud of them. Just to digress a little bit, I just want to get your take on what transpired there in the first quarter. I mean, it was a pretty raucous. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't see uh, initially what happened. Kind of saw the end of it. Uh, I was looking back down the other end of the floor. Uh, I think it's just chippiness, man. It's just two teams wanting to win. Um, you know, kids get into it um, and it kind of start something. Um, you know, and the aftermath was two players from each team. Um, got ejected, and you know you can't really argue with that. Um, but at the same time, you know it was just at that point you can't do anything to overturn the referee's call. Only thing you can really try to do is make sure he got the right ones uh, that were involved, and just try to rally your team back and say, hey, this is what it is, and no excuses. Uh, we, we say no excuses around here, and we just went back out and got it done. Congrats on a great win. Thanks for your time. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Capital Hoops here with HD, Dr. Durkman Washington. Durkman, two best teams in the city under most people's views. You come out here and really bring it to them. Only five players from more than three quarters in the game. Talk about what you think the difference in the game was. Hard work. Working hard, every loose ball, every rebound, loose rebound. You got to get it. You got to get it. You had two four-point plays on back-to-back -back possessions, eight points in, the, I think it was about an 18-second span. I mean, just talk about what's going through your mind when you get fouled on that second three and it drops. I mean, I wasn't thinking about myself. I was thinking about my team. I knew that would give us energy, give us a kick. That was the start of something else that would lead to more and get my team rallied up. Lastly, tell me, what, tell me what was going through your mind when the, when the whole altercation in the first half went. Did you get a good did I mean, you get a view of it? I didn't really get a view of it, but I just, like, I felt like they've been trying to get us out of our game because they knew they couldn't out, like, talent us or hard work or work harder than us. So I felt like they were trying to get us out of our intensity. So when I, I just kept made sure my team head was straight on so they would know not to get out their game, just play as hard as we played when we first came up. Everybody watching the 32 points. Congrats on a good win. Appreciate it. Count the hoops here. HD got Keon Boyd. Keon, chippy game. Mm -hmm. Just general thoughts on, on such a dominant win over a, over a good Roosevelt player. I mean, we came out and just, we just did what we do. People started, thought we were slacking because of the two L's we took previously this season. I mean, but that's not the case. We still run the city. I mean, I still take my guys over any team. Period. Talk about how effective you guys were after seeing after the altercation, it seemed like you guys really picked it up. Mm -hmm. Went on a huge run there in the second quarter. Talk about, you know, did that fuel the fire a little bit? Or? Yeah, I mean, it was already a lot circling around this game. So, I mean, that just added way more fuel to the fire. So, I mean, that just made us run away with the game, in my opinion. Did the game plan change at all after you guys went down to five? Were you, the coach tell you guys to slow it down to avoid fouling or get into a track meet type game that was going on in the first quarter? Yeah, basically, he just said, man, why are we rushing? They not doing enough. And that's us but that's us forcing ourselves and, and rushing ourselves. They can't stop us. So, I mean, what are we rushing for? All right, Ken Boy, congratulations on a good win. Thank you.